Hello, everyone, and welcome to episode two of Reculum of the Pickaxe with myself, BrenBren26. And I'm here to uh, continue on with what we were doing before. Now, I want to show you that there was a couple of gifts I received uh, while uh, I was doing some work off camera. And needless to say, I've done a fair bit of work off of camera. Uh, also, right now, off of camera, I'm trying to get my timer set so that I can actually remember when to stop this video so I don't bore you all to absolute death with uh, my boring rants and nonsense. There we go. Perfect. Okay, so without further ado, here we are. We are back here in my lovely underground home. Now, I've added in some more supplies. As you can see, I've been quite busy. Yes, very much so. I've done significant, some significant amount of mining, uh, resource gathering here. Uh, let's see what we got going on here. There we go. Uh, as you can see, tons of iron, copper, tin, osmium, yellow right, uh, ferrous, all kinds of good stuff here. Some ore berry bushes. Gotta get those down. A couple diamonds. Yep, just a few. Just a few. I actually found some in chests. I found, and end up running into a mine shaft. That was kind of fun. Uh, some extra stuff here. Magical crops, something I didn't realize that was in this mod pack last episode. Uh, we're going to get into that. Uh, one of the things I really, really want to do to get started. Magical crop. Crops. Really? I didn't know they had that. Uh, seeds. There we go. Um, coal. There you are. Get some coal seeds going. Essence and coal seeds going. And then maybe get up to some redstone or... Iron. I mean, we got what we need. That's a strong essence. It's strong infused stone, right? I mean, yeah, I'm going to have to get some stuff planted, obviously, but obsidian. See, I can get a lot of stuff going here. So we're definitely going to get into some magical crops, get that started, at least, because I got plenty of this essence going on here. We can definitely get coal going. I got the diamond I need to make the weak infused, right? So we can definitely get that going. That should be no problem. Um, because coal, I only got six stacks, almost seven stacks of it, so it's always good to make sure we get enough of that. We got some food going on here, some weapons. Um, keep you up to date, I have two deaths at the moment. Yes, that's right, I died twice off camera. Um, one was I ended up walking across the hole and, uh, fell into a one block hole into a pool of lava at the top of a hill that was fun and then the second death was because i used the back command and the back command took me to where where i last died and where i last died was in that pool of lava so i ended up teleporting back into the pool of lava yay um but enough of that enough of that bullcrap um i received a couple gifts I uh, was chatting with some people on the server. One guy was very kind to to give me this present here. Didn't have all this crap into it, no. But what the present did have, he provided me with Choppy, which is a uh, stone-bound, uh, basically Tinker's Construct uh, uh, lumber axe. So I can one-shot trees now, which is good. He gave me about five stacks worth of nether, nether rack, which was good, so I can repair it. Speaking of which, I actually need to repair it and he gave me this wonderful clipboard with my to-do list onto it so as you can see i've completed the terraforming and i need to gather more supplies i've already done those and now i gotta get two time ore setup going now you probably noticed from my mini map that uh there's some weirdness going on up there um let's go and take a look let's go see what this this weirdness is all about it's night time but we don't fear the night Never. So I'm glad to turn the rain off. So, we have this whole area Got it. Yes, that's right. I spent a good four or five days just gutting it all out by hand. You would not believe the amount of iron and osmium pick, axe, and shovels I went through to clear this all out. I also went ahead and put a fence around the entire place and lit it up as best I could so I don't need to worry about mobs or anything now. Um, I am started to map out some areas, so we'll go from this side, work our way around. Okay. So, first off, 
This is going to be the farming area. This is where I'm going to have some magical crop stuff growing here. Going to have some regular farms going here. I think I might eventually take that witch, uh, witchwood tree out, maybe. Get a sapling, maybe plant some more over somewhere else. I really plan on, uh, like, getting this looking really nice. So I want to get, like, pathways put in. I want to get benches put alongside here for, like, uh, the pond and stuff. I think that looked really nice if I do that up. Then we have over here, this is going to be my tinker's area. This is where I'm going to put, it's going to be more like a shed. I want to try and build up the walls and then kind of angle the roof up on a slant. Kind of make it like a shed, put the smeltery here and put the tables and stuff in here. And I want to get, uh, I got a bunch of tanks worth of lava here that I, uh, I, I bucketed out and popped in here. So. I'm going to try and get those situated in a place where I can actually, uh, you know, have them pump directly into the smeltery. Hey, Picky. Hey, Picky. Okay, next beside it, this is where I'm going to put my bees and, uh, my, what's the word for it? Alvaries? Alvaries? Yes, that's the word I'm looking for, I think. I probably bastardized the word, but who cares? My alvaries there. Um... No, this was not the lava pool I died in. I know you're thinking it, but no, this is not. Actually, this lava pool is a lot bigger. It used to stretch out to about here. And then I uh, I kind of uh, bucketed it out, and that's what four of the six you see over there is. I'll explain what happened up there after. Then this area here, this is what my latest terraforming is being. This here is going to be my main house and machine shop area. I'm going to make the upstairs homey and the downstairs machiney. Um, this is kind of the design I'm going to go with, with the upstairs look. It's a uh, chiseled marble. So I got fancy marble, marble with dent. I added some silverwood planks in there and then an ordinate marble panel in the middle for the floor. I'm going to put some window panes in here uh, throughout different sections, like maybe just cut this whole piece off here and put in a nice big square or rectangular window and continue this along the bottom but this is kind of the exterior pattern then flatten the top and then peek it off with uh with some marble stairs along those lines so i got it all kind of gutted it here for the floor to go in and then downstairs that's going to be the same size as upstairs and again i'm actually designing it so that this level here will actually be dug out once the floor is put down, this whole area, this whole one block level here will actually be taken out. And it will actually be where I'm going to run all the piping and stuff, uh, wiring, conduits, uh, all that stuff for this this building. It's going to be in between the floor and the ceiling. So this is going to be the ceiling of the basement. And that's going to be the floor of the upstairs. And this level here is conduit level in between. And then I'll do the same thing downstairs. So I got it dug down. It's supposed to be four deep. So if that's the that, and that's the ceiling section there. So it should be one, two, three, four deep. And then I'll dig up this section after, put down a proper floor, and have conduits run under that as well. Or at least under that section, I'm going to be able to get down and walk under it. I'll, I'll chisel it out a bit more. I'm going to get turtles to do it. But as you can see here, I got the, the pathways. This is the outer wall of the whole place going along here so I'm going to get some turtles in here and I'm going to get a nice program set up for them to do a four a high by like I don't know six or 13 wide by like 30 odd deep and just have them just hack the whole thing down and then go through it while I'm doing other things also I've noticed that magical forest biomes happen to have a lot of lava everywhere like I was just digging and I came across this pool of lava like come on now how many pools of lava do you need in a magical forest biome honestly honestly throw me a freaking bone here people because there's one there there's one up there I think there's one over there there's one under here it's insane I'm hoping this pattern looks good just do this out flat roof. I, the roof is what I'm really concerned about, how I'm going to make it look. Nice L shape. Join it all in together. I think it'll look nice. 
Then over here, we're going to put in our Thomcraft house. This is going to be a nice magically looking type place. Make it all nice and pretty. Uh, do some things with it. Get some Thomium crap put in here. It might not need to be so big. I might need to shorten it down a little on the side, I think. Cut it in a couple blocks. So that I can maybe be able to add a pathway in between the buildings here. And put a nice little bench and stuff here by this pondish bit here. Uh, next area here is going to be my mana bean house. This is where the farm of the mana beans is going to go. And this is where my little golem minions are going to work tirelessly to produce the beans I need to get what I want. And finally, the wonderful infusion altar. That's what all this layout is here. I have it perfectly designed and situated, and I think I'm going to make it like an indent. I'm going to dig it down a bit, make it uh, kind of cave in some, because I think there's a four block radius, so I might make this the lowest part, and then make this level here maybe uh, block high and above it a uh, block higher than it make this block three blocks higher than that platform so it's kind of like uh you know it'd be oh i don't know don't have it don't have the supplies i need so the idea would be is that the actual altar is like there and then that would be like that and then this would come out here So you'd end up having it kind of like that. So you, we put our materials on this level, put our uh, sentia, I think that's what it calls, sentia up on that level and have it going there and it should be able to pull it all down. And we should be able to see everything kind of being sucked into the center from here. And we'll just line all the different jars up and around the outside and we'll see if there's a way that I can't get it made so that I can get piping running for maybe getting them so that they're always they stay filled which would be kind of nice so we'll have to see about that have to see how that works we'll do some testing and, and playing around with it I'll do some the initial uh, build of it off camera and we'll have to go from there but it'll be interesting to see I think it's going to be look very nice and very pretty but we will see how it turns out in the end so, with that being said, that was a lot of catching up on uh, on what I did. That took a lot of time. So, what we really need to do, we got to kind of get down to the, the brass tacks of, uh, of the day here. Which is getting ourselves built some, some supplies here. So, let's see what we need. I need coal seeds, really. Uh, weak essence, which is just that. So, it's a diamond surrounded by that so first off I know we're gonna need one of you and I know we're gonna need nope crap ton of you and we're gonna need some of you okay that's the one thing I hate wish that text would go away coal seeds. So, I need a regular seed, some coal, and some weak essence. Weak essence is four, surrounded by that. A weak infused is a diamond. So, diamond. Oh yeah, I forgot. need the original seeds to begin with. There we go. Okay, then that goes like that, was it? Bing, 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 and bing, 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 bing. <laughs> I made it! I made a coal seed! 
See, that's just it. So now what I need is actually put that back here. <laughs> there we go. Five coal seeds should be good. And you can't make essence seeds, so I'm going to have to go up and plant those separately by the looks of it. And I think I have three. Yeah, I got three. So we can get those started. I think that would be a good way to start. I got this. Oh yeah, that's the other thing I got. I forgot to say, I got this little alchemy bag. Uh, green from... Uh, from one of the guys too he gave it to me he said uh gift gift for you he said it's like oh right on cheers thanks bud so that was kind of neat it's a neat little bag apparently it's uh it's like an ender bag so that if you die all you do is remake a new bag that's uh that's green and it will come back also if anyone on stream or on uh, chan channel here can tell me what this thing is, it's very loud, and I'm terrified that if I open it, it will, um, it will kill me. Getting these ink sacks. These guys just dropping all kinds of ink, ink sacks around. I'll take that. So whatever this is, I don't know. Oh, there it is. The Central Craft Entity or something named... He's got a few hearts, whatever he is. So it's an Essential Craft Thingy Jiggy, but I don't know what it is. And he's underwater. He's doing something. He's crazy. So we're just going to put a nice little hole there. A nice little hole there. <laughs> there we go, I think that will work. Pop that there. There we go. Let's get these suckers going. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three. There we go. And thus, the first magical crops farm is pr produced. And I'll try and keep it small because I don't want to destroy the server with it. Uh, next thing we need to do is I need power and since I'm growing coal seeds I should be able to make coal which should be sufficient which most likely means that a furnace generator furnace generator would be sufficient which is just iron 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 block iron furnace furnace and redstone Okay, that, that, that. Oh, it's, oh, no, I got redstone in there. So, one. We got this. Um. Okay. Furnace. And we got the redstone. Iron, iron, iron. Where art thou, iron? Boom, boom, boom. Bing, bada, boom. Suolo. Okay. That's that. That gets me that power. Gotta remember. Uh, can't remember if you put that right next to it. No. 
No, I can't remember. I think I need cabling for it. Which means I'm probably going to need energy conduit, right? I can't do that because I don't have the conductive iron, which you got to smelt. Oh no, I could. I could make iron powder and redstone makes that. And then you smelt it. Okay, I could do that. Make three of those. And then that was binding, which is just sand and gravel and clay. Yeah, let's get that going. So... A little bit of server light going on here. Come on. There we go. One, two, three, four. Okay, I will be right back in a minute. Thank you. Oh, never mind. Never mind. Wife not calling me. Come on, a little server lag. Yeah, this is a little laggy right now. What's going on? What? Pfft, it didn't go in. <laughs> what are the odds? There we go. This is better. So let's get some iron dust going here. So we're going to do this freehand style, if you will. We get this trucking along. Uh, we'll get... We'll see if we can get like four pieces out of it already. Look at that. Wonderful. That's all we need for now. Where's that redstone? One, two, three, four. That. That. Conductive iron. I like that. So let's cook that sucker up. Okay, and then we needed the conduit bind, right? Which is... That. Sand, sand. Gravel, gravel. Gravel. Uh, that. That's all I can make anyway. Boom. There we go. Look at that. All done. And then, right like that, we have our first energy conduit. Laughing. Then, redstone furnace, I think it's the last. A pulverizer and redstone furnace. Let's get those two going. Pulverizer. Ooh. Forgot about all this crap. Basic machine frame, eh? No, that's resident. Basic. Glass iron tin gear. Tin gear stone gear, okay. Surrounded by tin. That's easy. Wooden gear. Stone gear. Tin gear. Okay, that gets me that. Was it? No. Basic machine frame. Then it's just glass, tin, and iron, so. That. That. Look at look at this. Look at this. There we go. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Then it's let's pulverize our flint, that's no problem. Copper gears. Ah, oh, that's simple. 
Copper gears are always so interesting why they were so simplistic to make, in a sense. How come all the other gears you have to build them up, but the copper one you can just make with iron? And that is gold and redstone. Hiding on me. So that goes there. That goes there. You go there. Uh, I'm missing something. Piston. Boo, that was my bad. It's not sticky. Oops. Wow. 25 minutes flew. Uh, okay. That's what happens when you're having fun. We're gonna finish these up though, no worries. We got this. We got this, cause we're professional. We can finish this up in a heartbeat, baby. And Flint, 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 you are here. Shit, you are here. Yes. <laughs> Couldn't remember. Yeah, done. So that's the redstone generator. That is the pulverizer. And now we need the redstone furnace. You need clay, don't you? You do. You would. Grr. And it's again the receptacle redstone. Basic machine frame. Okay, so we're going to have to do that all over again. Wood. You know, it's probably a way to make a tin gear really simple, too. But, uh, I'm just not seeing it. Or not bothering to look for it at the moment. That's a tin gear. So it should be tin. Glass. Iron. Done. That's the basic. And then there should be... Two... One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Two copper gears. One of them. Okay, that takes care of that. And then I need the clay. Of course, they require me to have clay. Snap. Forgot that produces so much. Uh, that's right. One, two, three. There we are. Our first set. I'll have to grind up some more iron and mix it with redstone and put, produce a bunch more of that. But let's just go see if we can find eight pieces of clay out here real quick. I don't think I have... Oh, oh there it is. Look at that, we found more than eight pieces. That's all we needed. Shut up over there. Look at you. You're growing nicely. What did I get here? 40? Nice. Turn those into bricks. And the recipe was redstone. So, redstone there. And we need it. Basic thing there. And the thingamajiggy there. And the two whatsamacalls that's over here. And then we just gotta wait on that. See? Nothing to it. Easy peasy. Throw that in there. Almost. And do 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 do. That's 
one. We'll finish this up here once I get this built. Um, then we're going to... Then afterwards, I'm just going to get a, a place built the place put a bu place built to put them down for now <laughs> and then I'll move them later uh, afterwards we have uh, got things more situated I'm going to continue with the build up here I'm going to clear out some stuff there I'm gonna build a couple of turtles off camera too I'm gonna build uh, uh, one with a diamond pick and get them to start clearing out down under here and get that finished for me and then I think start working on this this building and get it built up so then I can move some of the machines and especially once I get the downstairs cleared out and also I'm gonna look at for a design for maybe the smeltery but would really appreciate some comments here on the uh, on the design I have for the main house just to see how it's gonna look and stuff uh, got any other blocks you suggest maybe I could try that'd be great maybe change up a bit it's gonna be quite white up here I think I might make the downstairs the machine area a bit more like mechanical might add some you no know, steel looking blocks or something to it I think would work good definitely have to see there's a lot of ifs in this okay there it is ta-da there's our basic machinery done, and we have our power to connect it to. That's all we need it. There. Throw that in there. Oh, yeah, as you can see, I get the blocks here for the smeltery. I'll build the pieces and put it together off camera as well. Just wanted to show some of what I've been doing and what I've been working on and stuff. So, it's kind of where we stand for now, and, uh, Maybe I'll get some of the bees set up over here too. I might make that building extend a little more this way. Might move it over to like maybe here and cut it a couple blocks back on this side to give this more of a open path down in. Kind of like that. There's a lot of changes that need to be done. My wonderful fence of protection around the place. Apparently did not help me against that skeleton up there. Let's see if I still got it. Hold on. Nope. Yeah, there it is. Let's see if I still got it. Nope. <laughs> Ding! Ding! <laughs> One more should do it. Ding! <laughs> Sucker. Let's go see if I can get some arrows out of its corpse. What? Nothing. Bullcrap. My poor little arrow. Ow! <laughs> Stuck myself with my own arrow. Oh well. Anyways, everyone, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode, and I'll be sure to keep you all posted with what I'm doing, what I'm building, and how I'm making it all work. You wait. In a couple episodes, we're going to get into the Thomcraft stuff here. Oh, and how I like my Thomcraft now. So, everyone, thank you very much for watching. If you like what you saw, pound that like button like a boss. You know you can. It's easy, just go like. And if you want to see more, you want to see what we're doing, be sure to hit that subscribe button. You'll get updated on all the wonderful videos that we decide to put out there. Whether it's crap or not, you'll get to know. And I think that's really about it. Comments below so I can tell whether or not this is actually going to look like shit or not. So, thank you again for watching, and see you all next time in Episode 3 of Reculum of the Pickaxe. Cheers. Later.